Okay, I'm going to take you through um, my setup as far as there's a software program called Soundboard and I use it to play clips, sound clips during the show and music and other things and there's actually two parts to it and uh, this is the Mac version right here and basically you just drag and drop it in each square and you can control the volume what parts of this, the audio clip you want to use and things like that and recently they just uh, came out with um, soundboard remote and you can actually use your iPad to uh, control your um, uh, soundboard on your Mac and uh, let me show you Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. and you can as you can see it's actually controlling it right on the Mac version here So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how everything's set up. Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, I wanted to sh for today's um, topic, I want to show you a software program called Soundboard. And it's great for my live show because I can put things like my intro music, outro music, um, even for the tech webcast, um, special effects and sounds that I need for the show. And it, it looks like this right here. And each one, each square has a sound clip in it or audio track, however you want to say it. And you put him pretty much just drag and drop it into the square and it loads it up. It's a lot easier than try to loading individually, especially if you have a lot of audio clips. And uh, from here, you can actually do many things to the audio once you load it up in the soundboard. Um, you can. Uh, color code them all uh, that way it's a little easier to find if you have a certain way you want to uh, uh, find it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove label for right now and you can uh, edit the uh, individual soundtrack right here you can uh, um, choose a start point and stop point within that audio file if you just want certain aspects of it and here's a um, as well as the volume control here is on the right side. And uh, there you got these little uh, tabs down here. And uh, I think you can control by MIDI device as well. And if you have uh, individual buttons. Now, this one I just pressed right here, it's called Sandboard Remote, which you have to load on your iPad. And once you do that, it'll give you a, a numbered code to correspond with your iPad. You put it in, in there, and uh, you can actually use that to control your soundboard on your Mac. And I'm going to show you that a little bit later. And uh, you also got this slider down here. So when you're playing an audio file, you want to duck it down if you're talking. Uh, Space. The final frontier. And it lowers it down a little bit so uh, people can hear your voice. And you can raise it back up again. Is much stronger than the ordinary human. And then you just press it again to uh, stop it. I actually you can also add um, effects. Um, you could add a software compressor, reverb, or anything you need right here, depending on what you have installed on your system. And you can also route that many uh, different ways um, through an external speaker. Um, I have mine going to the built-in line output which goes out to the stream uh, as I'm broadcasting out to Justin TV and uh, so I normally have it set for that and I think I'm not I can't remember how many sound boards you're allowed to have I think you can have up, up to 10 or something like this or like that now it comes preloaded with um, it's called podcast starter pack and it's got some various um, beginning sound clips like um, applause I guess Oops, it's a bit loud. Uh, I think it's got a couple more you can download from their website for free as well. And uh, next I'm going to show you the... Yeah, they got a, actually an iPad version if you just want to run it straight from your iPad. And they got something called, called Soundboard Remote, which you can, like I said, you can control using uh, your iPad uh, 
without having to preload all your audio clips. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, here we are. We're uh, on, on my iPad 2. I'm going to show you uh, two software programs from Ambrosia Software, of course, the iPad version of Soundboard, which is actually a standalone. You, um, it runs right within um, the iPad, and it's right there. Pretty much what... Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, it kind of crashed. Um, I don't have any sound clips loaded. I had to wait till uh, the Mac software version 2.1 came out. But it's pretty much how the Mac version works, more or less. Now, I'm probably not going to use that anyway because um, they came out with what's called Soundboard Remote. And look at the upper right hand side, SB Remote. Now, you got to have it, um, the wireless engaged on the same wireless network as your Mac. Um, and you got to have the soundboard on the Mac running. And uh, here it is reconnecting. Uh, the first time you run it, um, you'll see a number on the soundboard remote. And you got to punch that in uh, uh, where I showed you the wirelessly uh, connect. Uh, you put those four numbers in there and then it uh, connects each time. This is great if... Because that means if you just want the remote feature, you don't have to load all your audio content on your iPad, and you save kind of uh, you save room uh, for other things. And as you can see, it's pretty much the setup I have on my Mac, and it works uh, very similarly. Um, I don't know if it's got all the features and functions, but I got it's really got most of them you're going to need. And obviously, uh, due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. And. Uh, and you can set uh, the audio settings, uh, the, the volume control, just like on the, uh, the, the Mac version. And uh, you can uh, do it different ways. Um, look on the lower right-hand side. You'll see um, a play stop button. So each time you push, push it once, it'll either play all the way through or you can touch to stop it. Um, and this one's a looping feature. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. And uh, I think this is the MIDI version. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really mess with that. And this is the ducking feature. When you play it, you can uh, Space. obviously lower it down if you wanted to talk. And then uh, 177. hook the volume control back up again. And of course, you can switch between your different soundboards. By pushing that um, button on the uh, lower right where it says uh, 2 and then you can just um, scroll through the different soundboards now I wish um, I might actually write them and tell them that um, instead of doing that uh, pushing that little button because that's actually two steps is just to be able to drag it through the different soundboards instead of using this uh, feature in there. I don't know if they're going to implement that or not, or if it's um, applicable. And it's got a few uh, settings. Like I said, most uh, of the settings is going to be on the Mac version, and then you just use the remote just for um, you know operating uh, remotely. So it's very possible I'm going to use this for the show. Um, I might get uh, load some more clips in there uh, just to see how it works. So uh, check it out if you need something like that for your own show or other uses. Um, perhaps if you're a DJ live or something like that. Uh, Soundboard's a great uh, software application uh, for the iPad and uh, the Mac.